Hey guys, Level Cap here. Today we've got a ton of new information regarding Battlefield Hardline from Gamescom Germany. Not only do we have new gameplay footage, 12 minutes so of single player, and if you want to watch that, you can check the video description for a link to those videos, but we've also got some new game modes announced and some new guns have been revealed in the footage. And basically, the police have to go in and rescue hostages where the robbers or bad guys, whatever you want to call them, have to protect the hostages or kill the police before they can rescue them. And the map that they're showing off for this game mode is a big warehouse that is a industrial size laundry mat with a hidden grow house underneath. Anybody thinking of Breaking Bad here? It's definitely a huge homage to that show. The other game mode is called Hot Wire, which basically involves high value cars that people are going to be going after and chasing around the maps, creating a lot of really fast paced action and chase scenes. Now, although there was only a very small clip of the Hot Wire game mode, it seemed to be taking place in an environment that looked like the Florida Everglades. There was moving alligators, which is kind of exciting. And there's also an airboat with a mounted mini Again. Now, outside of the footage that they've been showing off here, several other bits of information has been revealed through press releases and just interviews going on at Gamescom. One of those bits of information is that it seems like RPGs are going to be battle pickups rather than equipable on the classes. I think this is basically an attempt to get back to the whole cops and robbers theme because you don't see a lot of police officers with rocket launchers and making them battle pickups is going to make them far less common. So they're definitely going to have to balance the game mode around this. But I think that's a really bold and cool move that uh, Visceral is doing. Another bit of information is that there is definitely a second beta confirmed for Hardline. No date on when this beta is going to occur, but I imagine that we'll probably be testing a bunch of the new game modes and seeing a lot of the changes that the developers have made since the first beta. All right, let's talk about some of the new guns that have shown up in the multiplayer trailer and the single player gameplay. First gun that makes an appearance is the Scout Elite Bolt Action Sniper Rifle. We'll have to see if it maintains the same damage values as Battlefield 4. The next gun is the R0933, and a lot of people are saying, oh, this is a brand new weapon to the Battlefield series. Actually, it's really just an M4. This is just one specific brand of M4. The difference between this and the M4A1 is that it has a shorter barrel and a crane stock. Other than that, there really isn't too much else going on. The M249 is the next gun to make an appearance, and I guess if you're going to throw some machine guns into a cops and robbers game, the M249 certainly fits in. From the single player footage, we can freeze frame here and see that the 44 Magnum, of course, is making a return, along with the Ace 21. We also see a glimpse of a Glock here, which shouldn't really surprise anyone. I couldn't really figure out which kind of Glock it was. I'm going to go ahead and guess Glock 17. Later in the single player gameplay, we see some extended combat with the MP5K. And what's really cool about this is that it has an Aimpoint T1 red dot sight on here, a scope that I've really been wanting to see in the Battlefield series for a long time now. This is an incredibly popular sight in the shooting world. I have a replica for when I play Airsoft. I absolutely love this red dot sight and I'm really happy to see it in the game. And other than that, people are actually playing the hardline beta at Gamescom Germany right now with some new game modes and hopefully we'll be finding out some new information in the near future. Personally, I'm quite excited about the new game modes. Hostage Rescue is one of the bigger attempts that Battlefield has made towards making this game more of a competitive franchise. And also the idea of having rocket launchers as Battlefield pickups is very interesting because they are certainly steering away away from vehicles being a big priority in the game and more so on infantry combat and transportation vehicles. Let me know what you guys think in the comments of the new footage, especially about the single player because we got about 12 minutes of that and there's plenty of stealthy stuff to go on. Definitely a departure from a traditional Battlefield series. As always guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. This is Level Cap signing off. <laughs>